Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? I want to talk to you today briefly about magic, just just a teeny bit, uh, not too much. And, and the uh, the idea is, uh, what spells are really allowed? Um, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, you're playing a game like, uh, let's say, Lamentations of the Flame Princess. There it is. Changed a lot of spells in terms of, uh, there's no fireballs, there's no lightning bolts. Uh, it's basic D&D &D when it comes right down to it. I've talked about that. They split up the cleric and the, uh, the magic user spell list entirely. Um, so there's, you know, they don't they both have light. I think the magic user has light and that's it. And some spells you think of as cleric spells are now magic user spells and vice versa. You know, etc. Um, but if I'm playing with people, you know, in, in that game or whatever, I'm playing a basic game and, and you know, well, what spells are really allowed? Personally, as a DM, I don't care. You know, I understand why he made some changes in this game. But I don't care if you take him out of... Oh, there it is. I don't care if you take him out of this game. You know, if you want if you want to use a fireball or... Uh, well, see, as we're playing BX, we can do Labyrinthor because that is BX when it comes right down to it. I don't care. You know, actually, what I really like is is the way spells are written. You know, I just hold up a bunch of books. I like the way spells are written here in these OD&D clones, like, like Delving Deeper, which is a really accurate clone, and uh, Swords and Wizardry, uh, which is less accurate, but still a, a darn good game. Um... I like them because they're very open-ended. Something they control weather, you know, Magic User 6. Range, referee's discretion. Duration, referee's discretion. You know, then it starts talking about summoning or stopping a rainfall of tornadoes, etc. Create unusually high or low temperatures. Let's talk about it. What do you want to do? I like that. So I honestly don't care uh, if I'm playing, you know, any one of those games, some kind of basic od &D something, you know, real, real, the kind of games I like, because if you listen to me, you'll figure it out by now. I don't care where the spell comes from. Um, if somebody wants to shoehorn in another spell, well, well I'll look at it. Let's let's talk. Um, but I kind of like those. So I think all, all the all those books are kind of on the table in terms of well, where spells come from. You know, also I really like with those with those spells that are really kind of open ended. They you know they don't get to the detail because you know I grew up playing first edition. That's where I spent most of my time, and those spells were very detailed. This is exactly what happens. You know, the older I get, the less I care about that. Okay, you make fire, great. Uh, I'm even to the point now. You know. Uh, you know, the way Fireball is described in some of these, it's, you know, wherever the caster wants it to end up, that's where it ends, as long as it's, the range is okay. Yeah, I don't even care now if a player says, hey, you know what, I, can I make this fire just fan out instead of being a Fireball? Okay, yeah, let's talk about it really fast, figure out what that might do, and maybe it'll give it a slight chance of failure, but, you know, it, you're, you're a wizard for crying out loud. Maybe, maybe you should be able to do that. Maybe it isn't, isn't such a formula. Um, you know, that's just me. I want to have some fun. I, I don't want to get bogged down in minutia and, and rules lawyering. So, you know, I think I think it's a blast. You know, magic magic can be a lot of fun. So let's not get, you know, bogged down in, in, uh, in you know, exactly, you know, how many inches is this and how many feet is that, okay? You know, as long as we're not, you know, overkill or, or you know, if I'm not seriously being a jerk to you as a player, I think it's all good.